Hi, I'm Becky Lucas, and this is Gaten Elementary School. And this is my fifth grade classroom. Today we are going to be doing a uh, science lesson on density. All right, class, go ahead and log in to Nearpod. Put your name in. And we'll get started. If you haven't logged in yet, remember your code is right up here. So we're going to be learning about density. And if you don't know what it is, you're going to find out very quickly. My objective is to have students investigate and understand the unique properties and characteristics of density and its roles in the natural and human-made environment. <laughs> Your objective, uh, you're going to have fun while learning about density and then you're going to remember density when we talk about other concepts in science. Nice. All right, so everyone is gonna put one hand behind your back. Keep it there until the next slide. Step two, Summer, can you read that one? Summer, please take the cover off all of the containers. There you go. All right, Summer's gonna come around and take the, the uh, lids off. Girls, read the step three. And boys, read step four. Hold the diet coat very still. Very good. All right. I had a couple things to give you. I'm stepping on your notebook. Could you pick that stuff up? Clear. I got another bag, don't worry. Hold it very still. Keep one hand behind your back. Hold the, the can to the side. You see me? I'm on the can. Hold it to the side. And you're going to slip it into the water at an angle. You're not going to plop it straight, but you're going to hold it up to the side. Go ahead and slip it into the water. You're going to observe, and on your next slide, you're going to comment about what you see happening. careful you're being with the uh, water and the computers. That makes me very happy. <laughs> Let's see some comments up here. It's 
shock, Diet Coke floats and regular Coke sinks. Normal Coke's not my mood. That's right. Nate, good job. It is floating. Can we be more specific as scientists? Yeah. Wh what's floating? You're going to edit? Wait, I said cake. Nice. I like that comment, the Diet Coke takes flight. Oh, good job, Summer. You also commented that they're upright, they're staying upright, they're not tipping into the water. So did Brenda, they are standing up. Madison, the only one that's able to float. Ah, now you're very specific, Nate. Sunk like the Titanic. It's a good one. Great. Right, take a look at your other classmates' comments. And as scientists, think about how we need to make observations and we need to be specific. So what other senses could you use making your observations? We use sight. What else? Touch. What could you feel? Like almost it dropping down, like slipping through your hands. You could feel the way the coat, yeah. yes, was. What else? Uh, you could see um, some of it's floating, some of it's not. Sure. What do you think? Well, like, like, I, uh, like maybe you could, like, um, like, like, really off of Sunday, like, you can see, and, um, and you can probably feel that this is down here. Here. Sure, but what else do we measure in science? Not just what looks like, but what else? Ah, oh, yeah, we're throwing out words. Mm, nice words, I love it. But let's talk about our observations in our five senses. We sight, we... Hear, hear. Did you hear anything when yeah, it went in? You heard a clunk? Oh, okay, so those are the kinds of observations that we still need to add. Yes, we did the obvious, but what else? When you touch the water, what could you feel? The temperature of the water. What about the temperature of the can? Uh, yes, you have to use all of your senses as scientists to try to figure out what's going on in our world. All right. <clears throat> so let's review the independent variable in this experiment and the dependent variables on your screen. See if you can get it. What is the independent variable? It's right here, Nate. Wait, oh, try it. Try to match them. Had to remember the independent variable and the dependent variable. And then we also have the constants in the experiment. Did I use different cans, size cans? Did anyone notice the amount is in the can that's labeled? So it says the independent independent variable is the blank of soda. What word can we put back in there? What do you think, Chuck? Uh, type. type of soda. Does that make sense? The dependent variable depends on the independent variable. We know that the dependent variable we can turn it into an R. Are the results of the experiment? The D turns into an R for results. So the dependent variable is going to be whether it sinking or floating. Yes, the dependent variable is sinking or floating. What are the constants? Right, I was like, it's constantly the same. It's constantly the same. My mood. What are the constants? What did you put down? Volume. Volume. What does that mean? Yes, can you put it in kid terms? What is volume? In your, in my mood's head, what does volume mean? Volume. 
If you need help, call on a friend. Phone a friend. It's calling on you, Brody. Did you say Brody? It's calling on you. Volume is how much space it takes up. But don't tell me, tell him. Volume is how much space something takes up. Okay. So how much something takes up. So how much does this can take up? Have you ever, have you ever noticed it? It's, all, it's, on, it's on a label. So the volumes of the cans are set. They're all, they all hold the same amount. Yeah, they all hold the same amount. That's the word I'm looking for. And then um, the cans, were some of them cold and some of them hot? We have to, we, they all have to be the same what? Temperature. They all have to be the same volume. They have to be the same temperature. Um, the only thing that we're changing, they have to be in the same bucket. We can't have one in one bucket, one in the other. The only thing that is changed, the independent variable, is the type of soda. Right. What's density? By definition, the official definition is density is the amount of mass in a given volume. But an easier way to think about it is if the amount of stuff inside of something and how tightly packed that stuff is in something. And scientists measure density in lots of different ways um, when they're looking and use it in lots of different ways. Um, so we're thinking about shopping carts. That's something I thought, I thought that you could relate to. So the carts, they are the same size. They hold the same amount of mass. But object A has more mass or stuff inside of it. Therefore, this has a greater density than object B. So we can put more stuff inside. If we're looking at this, qu this question, both objects have the same volume, the same amount of space to fill in each cube. However, B has a lot more mass or stuff inside of it. Just like this is the bigger shopping, or the shopping cart that's um, got more groceries in it. Which one do you think has the greater density, object A or object B? Well, look at our results popping up. Good work, class. Looking at the picture, B has got the most stuff inside of it, so it's got <coughs> a, a greater <coughs> density. density. There you go. And there's your answer. OK. In your notebooks, I want you to write an I can statement about density. So what can you do when it comes to density? Can you teach density to a younger brother or sister? Can you um, recite the definition of density? What verb can you use when it comes to understanding density? What can you do with this? Could you explain it to a family member? And use a great verb. Do you need a pencil? amazing that you could write with just the tip of it. All right, so I can teach. I can know the meaning of it. I can explain. I can talk about it with my family. Oh, I like that word. I can identify density, understand. Another verb you could use is apply. Yes, oh, good job. I like your Saunders. Um, he says, I can tell which objects have greater density or less density through experimentation. Short video coming up. Go ahead and put your headphones on. When you're done with your I can statement, you can watch the video on density.
care sign, you know the meaning of. Why couldn't we put that in at the same time when we're doing our lab? Why couldn't we put those in? Why couldn't we put those in? They aren't the same brand. Well, neither were these. They were different types. Oh, you mean like Coke versus Diet Coke, mm -hmm. right? So we have Sprite versus A&W versus Mountain Dew. Yeah. Too many different variables in there. Why couldn't we put those in? Why would it give us skewed results for our lab? Well, because they're, um, because um, these are bigger than those. They have more, they have more, how do we say, size of the can is going to be either mass or more liquid, so what do we measure liquid in? fills up stuff, it starts with a V. Volume, there you go, that's the right word. That has more volume than these, so we're not gonna be able to compare those. That's true, that's true. But would you like to test them? Yes. <laughs> I figured you would. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. If you were told that an object had greater density, what would that mean to you? you were told this object has a greater density, what would it mean to you? I'm interested in seeing what your thoughts are. And you can go ahead and reply on your pod. Density, to find, the, to find density, it's mass divided by volume. That's how you get the density. You don't have to learn it for a test. Not part of fifth grade, but I know it's interesting. We also want to think about gases, liquids, and solids, because we're going to study that unit in the future. Solids have a greater density than gases, which is why gases are floating. A couple other connections. Connection to oceans. We have cold, salty water will sink in the bottom of the ocean. And water that is not as salty is less dense, floats on top of saltier water. We actually layer the water. And we're going to be doing an experiment, an experiment with that later on. Now that you understand density, you're going to see it everywhere. And you're going to know when you bite into candy or when something sinks, you're going to think about that topic. All right, guys, we are gating. <laughs>